The Rodriguez Show. It's Friday, July 15th, 2022, and it's time for another episode of The Rodriguez, the Show. Rodriguez Show. My name is Cesar Rodriguez, keeping it funky, fresh, and sexy since the year 1992. Clean, clean, clean. And I am not alone in the studio. We have a full house in the studio today, but first I have to introduce the DJ of the show. He brings you a new mix every single week, and he always burns down the studio. We have to rebuild it from scratch. <laughs> every time. Every time. <laughs> and his name is Mondo. Yo, 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 yo. What's good? Happy Friday, everybody. In the studio, what's good, guys? Yep, yep. Chilling, chilling. Yeah, everybody's feeling good, and I have to introduce our co-host for today. Yes, sir. Uh, we are doing a true, true 100 crossover right now True 100 radio we got ybg and jules what's up guys what up hey, how are you <laughs> chill yeah, thanks yeah. for having us yeah, and jamal will be here at some point <laughs> yes. some point. Yes. <laughs> some point. we'll see we'll see uh, <laughs> and right off the top you can follow them at true the number 100 radio true yes, 100 radio uh and we are doing this today because we're going to do a crossover event right Are you guys excited mm-hmm. for that I'm yes so <laughs> oh uh, we've been talking about it for a few weeks it's the true the rodriguez show crossover happening next wednesday july 20th at the continental room in fullerton yes yeah, yes. yeah continental room is a cool it's a cool spot for sure yeah <laughs> yeah you guys did your summer kickoff there right yeah, yeah it was pretty dope yeah. it's pretty dope it's just uh, like uh, it's very much more of like an intimate vibe for sure yeah nice yeah we're excited to to be a part of that and uh you put together some the lineup you guys put together is really dope uh tell me about this lineup we have eric young tyler conan kari banks and travis chase um how did you guys come up with that um yeah it was just we wanted to kind of just give different sounds um for the show um we felt like you know I think Eric Young, Eric Eric Young's de- definitely very diverse. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yeah, <laughs> very and, different sounds. Yes, <laughs> yeah. doing Depending everything on his mood. Spanish, <laughs> everything, bro. Yeah. Nah, but yeah, and he, he's a good performer. So you know, we definitely, definitely we would. definitely wanted to book him. And yeah. you know, Tyler Conan, um, he's actually been like not doing music for a while, but he's like he actually told me he's preparing a lot of music to drop. So nice. like this is this kind of this performance kind of is like his like comeback performance, kind of like Specs. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> like what Specs did. But yeah, yeah. yeah um and then who else and then kari i mean he did the first show he killed it and then um you know we said we decided to just bring it back on the second show and then travis chase i mean yeah he was at true fest yeah he's, so he's, he's, he's a staple yeah, yeah. he's a staple yeah <laughs> rodriguez show and everything so i think that makes more sense for it to happen too so yeah we just That's thought it was a cool sad. lineup yeah you had yeah it was a, it was great i mean i was like when you pick, when i saw eric young i was like okay yeah so they did pick somebody that like it would make sense that would put like mm-hmm. this lineup yeah, of makes course. sense yeah yeah and uh yeah and everybody stay tuned because we have tyler conan and kari banks coming in as guests today so yes, sir. Right. um so yeah july 20th tickets uh you can get tickets uh probably at this point now right it's friday yes friday? Yeah. Yeah, yes. By friday, yes. Yeah, yeah so that you can get tickets we'll have a link to that in the bio for at the rodriguez show and obviously at true 100 you can uh, do uh there's also going to be mondo doing a dj set of course mondo that's Rachel. right Dope. of course man i'm playing all the jams you guys already know <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I love your mixes, bro. Thanks, sure. man. Appreciate that, bro. <laughs> and the homie Taps, too. Yes. You're yes. the one we added. Of course. <laughs> yeah, if it's me, it's Taps, man. Yeah. You guys got two for one. Yeah. For real. <laughs> Shout out to Taps. We love it. <laughs> uh, so speaking of all that land, we're going to do a live podcast. That's going to be dope. So make sure to go yes. next Wednesday to the Continental Room. Most def. Yeah. It's a Wednesday, but it'll be early, 7 to 11. So you can still go home, go to sleep, go to sleep. Yeah, exactly. and there's whis- there's whiskey Wednesday. There you go. Uh, everybody well, you just call out. <laughs> call, call out the, hey, everybody just call out the next two days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you, you'll be fine. <laughs> you'll be good. Everyone's next. gonna be getting whiskey, and cold, uh, whiskey sours, all that, bro. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's, uh, speaking of you know taps mondo, we just did our uh, the show the uh, OG movie show, and yeah. you guys were at that too. Uh, you were you weren't I there, was, there, I, was there. I wasn't unfortunately. Mm-hmm. I did Facetime her yeah, though. I was on oh, Facetime. <laughs> When, I Apo- seen that. when Apollo performed yeah. and then when Blake was performing, I yes. FaceTimed her like, I the whole to. set. I so. had to. I'm so sad that Blake Jones did 3 a.m. in Santa Ana was in there. Oh, like, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. We're a big song. fan of that track. That's a banger. <laughs> favorite song. That's a banger. That's a banger. I set him up too. He's like, what time is it? And I was like, 8.55. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I did not expect that. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought he was like talking about his time left. I was like, hey, what's going on? He's like 3 a.m. and then dropped. I was like, yo. Dude, I play that song when I do lift, but when I see like, oh, it's a younger crowd coming in the car, I'm going to 
play this song. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love that song. That's right. <laughs> and then I got to say, one of the standouts, I mean, they were all great, but Specs, man. Specs. Uh, Dude, yes. Yeah. I've heard of him, too. Like, yeah. and then the first I, time seeing him. Right? Yes, because I've only see, heard about him through like uh, Instagram and all that. Yeah. And I saw his performance and the stage presence. Awesome. That's my dog, man. Yeah, he did a great job. He yeah. was like going up there. He's like, all right, bro. And I was like, you got this shit for you. Kill that shit, man. Yeah. You fucking kill. I told him, like, you're going to kill that shit. Hella opened up, too. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. He was in it. Yeah. <laughs> he was Message. not scared to like get deep. And, and it I think it paid off. Like People were really into it. I think he kept it original too, just the, his sound too. Mm -hmm. That's how he was spitting. And that's another person that's very diverse too, man. Specs can tap into a lot of different like sounds, which is really really dope, man. Yeah, like the fact that he was doing his uh, morning blues, I was like, yo, he's like, he's like, <laughs> I haven't performed this shit in like three, four, whatever, three years. I was like, bro, that shit's tight <laughs> as fuck. <laughs> yeah, shout out. Tight. Uh, yeah, and then uh, shout out to Kid Vista who also performed. He also yeah. did great, great job yeah. starting as well. Mm -hmm. Uh, like you said, Blake Jones. Uh, who else was there? Hippie C. Hippie. Hippie. Oh, yeah. I saw that. I catched the end of it. It was dope. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then Apollo Bebop. And then, of course, the, the whole event was put on by Eddie Rotten, Eric Young, and tight. Mellow Thing. Uh, and that was an amazing performance, too, with Liam Fiore on, on the bass. Super tight. Mm -hmm. Super dope. Super dope. Then when they had their mask on, that, yeah. that was super yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Leave it, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, that's creative. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, so we're going to be definitely doing more uh, events that we're going to be hosting and, and stuff that we're collaborating and planning, just like the one we're doing next Wednesday with nice. you guys. Uh, so stay tuned for all the details on that. But we have our special guest co-host co today because we're going to do the headlines. Are you ready for the headlines? Yeah. yeah. Let's yes, do it. all right. <laughs> headlines. Uh, Eminem just announced his greatest hits album, his second greatest hits album, Curtain Call 2, uh, everything since Relapse. Uh, what do you guys think? Dang, I gotta, that's gonna bring me back to like, oh, two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, he, well, he already had a Curtain Call 1, which yeah. covered all his good songs. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. It's funny, because I had that CD. Yeah, yeah. back in the day, back, too. Back yeah. in the day. Bro. I had that yeah. one. I had Curtain, curtain Call 1. Oh, uh, yeah. So now Curtain Call 2 has, uh, I don't know. I mean, he probably has, like, Not Afraid, that song. Remember Maybe, that song? yeah. Yeah, yeah probably. Yeah. But I've always liked Eminem. Yeah? You know, I don't listen to him like that, but yeah. I just always loved his lyricism. And wordplay and all that. It's, crazy. it's true. Yeah, I don't think he I don't think he ever lost. I mean, he he hasn't made songs as good as before, no. but he's always been respected, I think. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Like, even the people, artists are popping now. When they see him, they still fan out. Like, yeah. You know what I mean? He's uh, just at that level. Like, I mean, he influenced a lot of the, of the younger kids. Oh my too. Gosh. Tyler Creator wouldn't be here if it wasn't for him. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> like, Russ is a huge influence. Uh, uh, Eminem's a huge influence on Russ. Cause yeah, he, yeah. That's that's what got him, like, really into it was, like, he grew up on that. Like, I did, like, the G Unit era. Oh, with Eminem yeah. and Dre and all that. So. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Eminem, he has some great hits, but. Uh, I mean, he's he's still making money and still like relevant, so it doesn't really matter. That's all that matters. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. the yeah. fact that you know he could put out an album like that, that's all old hits, you know. It's, yeah. it's still just staying pop. relevant, you know, just making some money. He just <laughs> dropped a video with Snoop Dogg too. Yeah, the, the, the <laughs> NFT monkey video. Yeah, yeah. Like, oh yeah. <laughs> he's just having fun, bro. Like, <laughs> at this point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, and he did the Super Bowl too. Right? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, it yeah, was yeah, it. Yeah. That's yeah. right. With Snoop and everybody. Yeah. Yeah. He's still relevant to this day. Yeah. No matter what. Uh, Kid Cudi also dropped his greatest hits. Um, yeah, came out last week, and then today, a kid named Cudi the mixtape is out. Yeah. Uh, did you see the the track list for the greatest hits? Yes, I. Yeah. I, I mean, I can't recite it from one to whatever, but I did see it. The ones you put. It, it, we had talked about it. Me and Mondo were talking last week about like what the track list would be, and like almost none of the songs that we mentioned are on this no, track. No, there, there, oh, there was. Yeah. We we did say marijuana was going to be on there. It's not. Oh, marijuana's a good one. Oh, yeah. Was it? No, we did say not. day and night. Well, day and night. Yeah. There we go. That's one. We are <laughs> <laughs> pursuit of happiness. I think we also said. Yeah, but the soundtrack to my life. Damn, we fucked. <laughs> Mister the Rodriguez Show. All right, the video was interrupted because joining us as well. From True 100, the homie Jamal. How's it going, man? The grand interrupter has arrived. <laughs> hey, and, and, you know, you know how I do. You know, <laughs> it just, it just be like that. So all three of you guys are co-hosting uh, the show with us today for a few segments. Mm -hmm. uh, I heard we already talked about the event coming up July 20th. Uh, we went into it in pretty, de pretty a lot of detail. Did you, did you want have anything to add? Did you want to say anything else? This is going to be probably one of the most fun shows we have. 
Yeah. Because I mean, us three don't really have to do much of anything. <laughs> 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 so we can just have more fun and actually enjoy the show. That's I right. mean, we'll, we'll be doing things, but you know, this is the true 100 Rodriguez show crossover. So you have to deal with more of the stress of yeah. uh, who's coming up next. Oh, that's easy. And you know, <laughs> <laughs> you planning it is is the, the hard part. So this works out for both of us. We're happy to do it. Yeah. <laughs> We're happy to do it. You know what's crazy? You know what's crazy? I feel like planning this show wasn't too hard because yeah. it was like, we don't have to worry about the live podcasting part because that's yeah. the hardest part of these shows. True. Is, oh, what are we going yeah. to do for the live podcasting <laughs> portion? You yeah. know? So it's not me sitting there like, oh my God, like how am I going to keep people engaged? Or, it's like on your improv. <laughs> well, yeah, right? you know. Yeah, oh, man, but you no, came so. in hot with all the ideas when we were having our meetings. You're uh, like, yeah. this, 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 yeah, and I'm like, yeah, okay, so. perfect. He's got this. <laughs> it's, it's because Caesar, Caesar is a professional. That's, <laughs> that's what it is. Yes. <laughs> it's probably one of the most professional shows we're going to have on this tour. That's but, true. Um, and, and I have the safety net of like, all right, didn't work out. Mondo, get back in the mix. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you guys don't like this one? <laughs> play something. Just play, play, play something. Going. It's fine. Uh, that's 100% true, though. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, so, yeah, uh, like we said, July 20th, the Continental Room. Get your tickets, and uh, we'll see you guys there. Uh, we were doing the headlines. So we were in the middle of talking about Kid Cudi. He just dropped his greatest hits. Yeah. Uh, and we had, we had brought up right during the little break that we had that he has some songs with Wizard. And we clarified that Wizard is his project with Dot the Genius, which was alternative music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh, so the song with Kanye that I was talking about, I'm going to Google right now. But it's the one where he goes, I hope you die, Aria. Do you know that song? It's oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, that's on. Erase Me. Erase Me. Yeah. It's a great song. Yes. Yeah. I forgot about that song. Dang. That's a great song. That's a throwback. Yeah. That's on my Apple Music. For yeah, sure. That's that's yeah. one of Kanye's. I, that's one of my favorite Kanye verses for sure. Yeah. Like, that's a feature, yeah. yeah. That was a good feature. Yeah. Her name was Maria, right? Her name, her name is Aria. I, I, oh, oh, is it Aria? <laughs> why did I hear Maria? Her name well, is Aria. Well, why haven't I? What the? Nah. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That's that's, Damn. that's the complexity of Kanye West. Well, you know, well, that line always made me mad because he only called her Aria for the last line, which is "I hope you die, Aria." <laughs> Dang, dude. Why did I think it was Maria? I've been singing Maria the whole time. <laughs> I'm not even Ka kidding. Kanye needs to do a genius of all his songs. <laughs> he needs to do a genius series. He does, explain like, break everything. Lyrics. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, so Kanye not featured on the Kid Cudi album because of their feud. Uh, so that's unfortunate. But, I mean, you know, Kid Cudi, he's, he's still dope. Like, I, I'll, I'll see him in a heartbeat. You know? yeah. mm. uh, so moving on here to Frank Ocean. He just released two episodes of his radio show to celebrate the Channel Orange 10th anniversary. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, wow. So Ten this years. is... This is where Jamal was saying that I'm the most professional because the shit he released was not a radio show. Talk your <laughs> shit. Talk your <laughs> shit, dog. It was a 30-minute instrumental with what? an interview on top of it. Oh. No, nah, you're kidding. So it was a third, yeah, it was two 30-minute interviews. That's not a radio show. That's a podcast. The podcast. <laughs> Caesar said, hey, hold the fuck up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold so it's a radio show? Yeah, it's Blonded Radio. So, he, so here's what we do. We go to Apple Music, right? And we report it. <laughs> we report it. Like, this is not radio. Yeah, it's like, this isn't radio. We want to see real radio. This is Tune into the Rodriguez show. <laughs> and go on true100radio.com. That, that's real radio. Yeah. <laughs> if you want some radio, you know, oh, yeah. authentic <laughs> radio. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> authentic we always radio. say that, like, Apple, just hire us. Yeah. <laughs> that's what I'm saying, dude. Like, Apple, Amazon's starting some radio stuff oh, soon now. Of course yeah. they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that, 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 we'll talk about that off air. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it. Yeah, so if you want to check it out, I mean, the, I would say that, I mean, to give him some credit, one of the conversations is really good. I listened to a few of the second one, but it wasn't that great. It was just about, like, the history of drugs in America, which oh, is okay. super, like, why they made certain things illegal. Yeah. And it's just to, you know, lock people up, not for any yeah. other reason. No, for sure. Um, so, yeah, check those out. They're on Apple Music. Dope. But, you know, if you want a real radio show, you know where to go. <laughs> <laughs> you already listening to it, baby. Going <laughs> <laughs> under <We're not> radio. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> them too. Them too. <laughs> and then the last story here, DJ Premier has announced a collab with Nas, a song coming out today. Yeah, that's dope. So, I feel like Nas has been doing a lot of great work in the past couple of years, right? Yeah. yeah. Nas it's is definitely like, one of the few rappers of the generation before ours. Or no, he's technically in our generation of rappers where he's constantly evolving with what's mm. current and making it making it tasteful. He's not mm. trying to force himself into like the drill stuff and like mm. 
you know, trying True. to make himself sound like a new age rapper. Nah, like he's I'm still not. he's still Nas, but he him and Jay Z have been able to make it to where like they don't sound like the old guy yeah. trying to do the new stuff. Yeah, you know? yeah. Oh, and, and then that's why, I mean, he even linked up with uh, Hit Boy when he Yo, did the album, dude, bro. Hit Boy, uh, I was talking to my homeboy King's about Disease, this. right? That's, yeah, uh, both, both of them, both. Yeah. yeah. I was talking to my homeboy about that. I was like, yo, him linking with Hitboy was probably the best thing he can do yeah. for his sound because if he would have came out and tried to do King's Disease his old way, like do it like Illmatic, uh, well, wouldn't work. Wouldn't <laughs> work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wouldn't True. work. True. Yeah, I think he knows. Like you said, he knows his time. He's not trying to do anything he's not good at. And he's still staying relevant, and that's dope. I mean, I even like back, like, it was like it's years ago now, right, when he did the album with Kanye. Mm-hmm. When they Kanye produced, I thought that was fire, and, that, yeah. and then he dropped all the King Disease. Yeah. Stuff. I was yeah. Like, holy shit, yeah, that's good. Man. And he still stuck to himself, like always sending a strong message in his music. Always being there. Yeah, and he's one of the people that, like, maybe I don't agree with everything he says, but it's like, hey, I appreciate how yeah. it's presented. You know, mm. yeah. exactly. Yeah. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, so that was our first break with True One Hundred. How you guys feeling? Feeling good. Yeah. Chilling. Thanks for being here. <laughs> Uh, we're going to get into a mix with Mondo 20 Minutes. It's fire. We already heard it. It's amazing. And then we're going to talk about what's happening this weekend in Orange County. Uh, so keep tuning in right now on The Rodriguez Show. True 100 Radio Crossover Extravagance. <laughs> Yo. Yo, what's up, man? It's Reyes, and you're listening to The Rodriguez Show. And we are back on The, the Rodriguez, Rodriguez Show. Show. And we got Mondo in here, and we have yes, the True sir. 100 crew as well, Jamal, YBG, and Jules. Thank you guys for being here. Yep, thank yep. You. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> and we're about to talk about a lot of events that are happening soon, and some are happening this weekend in Orange County. What's it called, Mondo? What's popping? That's right. <laughs> uh, and so we already mentioned it, but I have to mention it because it's big and it's happening soon. Yes, True, the Rodriguez Show crossover happening next Wednesday, July 20th. Boom. A live Boom. podcast hosted by me and Mondo. You ready for that, Mondo? Of course, man. <laughs> I'm hyped. <laughs> And then, of course, Mondo on the DJ set with our friend Taps. Who's Taps. Part tapping of the team. Yeah. Yep. He's officially a part of the Rodriguez Show Live event crew. So he's always going to be with us. Uh, and then we have performances by Travis Chase. Shout out. Tyler Conan. Uh, Kari Banks. And Eric Young. So mm-hmm. it's a dope lineup. And we have a freestyle contest. So if you want to sign up for that, hit us up on Instagram at The Rodriguez Show. And uh, we're doing giveaways. So it's going to be a great Whiskey Wednesday. At the Continental Room, 7 to 11 p.m. <laughs> next Wednesday, the 20th. Pull up, man. <laughs> call out of work. Call out of work the next yeah, day. Yeah, yeah, you got to call out of work on yeah. Thursday. Uh, <laughs> Especially on Whiskey Wednesday. You got you know, to call crazy. out. Uh, so speaking of events, I know you guys are here be- uh, in addition you know, to promote the one we just talked about, but also you guys are doing another event later this month. You want to talk about it a little bit? Yeah. Yeah, so we have a mixer uh, that's coming up on the 30th. And that that event actually we've been wanting to do for a while now mostly just to get people to meet new people you Mm -hmm. know especially um i don't know so our background is in college radio and we did a lot of school events and stuff but um and we noticed that when we had mixers we you know expanding your network is always a good thing so um that's something we wanted to go ahead and like provide for artists and creatives at, in Orange County so that we could start to get to know different people, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's dope, man. Uh, and where's that happening? Santa Ana, uh, where you had the seven-year anniversary. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So we're going to be at the house. Uh, we're also going to have free fried chicken. Yeah. Hey. So shout, shout out to, to Gus's, Gus's fried, fried chicken. chicken. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So free, 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 hey. free 40, oh, uh, hey. first 40, 40 people. people, yeah. First 40 oh, people. Oh, I'm yeah. fucking so. pulling that. Free chicken, <laughs> <laughs> running there. Yeah, you better get there, Mondo. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Gus's chicken is too fire. <laughs> we'll also have Elongo as a vendor. Hey. So if you don't get free fried chicken at least vegan food. you got some vegan oh, food that's yeah. so Ongo's good really good too yes i'm, dub- I'm double fisting food that day <laughs> <laughs> and, and, we're gonna be there all day so we're gonna yeah, need yeah, yeah. <laughs> and we're gonna have a bar yes so oh, bar. we're gonna have some customizable drinks nice for you guys so that's gonna be dope and we're gonna have some dope performances mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. very dope so Do you have it can you reveal can we, any yeah. yeah of course yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so we have sammy love hey. uh, we have blake jones oh. aj and 
Anthony James. Anthony James. Yeah. 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 Anthony James. Okay, okay. Anthony James. Anthony James. Sorry. Yeah. And then Daniel James yeah, would be Daniel yeah. James as well. DJ. Wow. Hey, that's yeah. what's up, man. So we have one member of the experience for one show. <laughs> and we have the other member of the experience for, for another show. Right. Yeah. So we, we, we have the experience on the tour. There you go. Just so separately. <laughs> separately. There you go. And when they be together at True Fest, you're going to have to come to True Fest to find out. <laughs> you know, it's, like a, it's like a wrestling storyline. Nope. That's dope, man. I can't wait to, to be there. That's, that's the 30th of July. That's the end of this month. Uh, man, uh, yeah, and Second Street Events, that, that's, the, that's the place where we did where we did seven year. That's the backyard venue that, that it was really dope at our event. So, yeah, it's going to be a fun fun time. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Just here to connect, you know? Yeah. yeah. Uh, and Mondo, I know you got coming something coming up, too, on the 23rd. Uh, oh, yeah. You want to tell us about the Cool Lab Fest? Oh, definitely, man. So you guys can definitely pull up uh, from the last thing that I've seen. They were uh, out of capacity as far as the RSVPs. But I know they added like a hundred more tickets. So if you guys oh, wow. still haven't got your tickets, go ahead and grab them now. But the 23rd, man, it's going down the Cool Lab Fest. Big shout out to Priscilla for the opportunity and all the Cool Lab uh, people, man. Shout out to everyone out there. Uh, we have a dope ass lineup, man. We have the new hippies. We got Cameo Adele, Sammy Love. We got Apollo Bebop, Rocky Angelini, Alaz. And again, myself, man, I'm going to be spinning some tunes all night long. So I'm just super excited for this, bro. It's going to be nice. Nice community, man. The Cool Lab has always been cool, man. From like even before the pandemic and stuff, you know, after like during the pandemic, of course, like things died down. But yeah. even before then, like they've always like just held it down at the Forestry Street Market or just in general in downtown Santa Ana, always bringing new people, new talents. It's an, I mean, it's an open mic, you know, like you yeah. can just. As long as you sign up, I forget what the cutoff time is usually, but people can just sign up and then like they, you know, bring out their talent. It's a lot of dope talent out here, man. It's just super dope. Facts. Yeah. Uh, Facts. All yeah. vibes. Always, always at the collab. All yeah, vibes. man. So Saturday, July 23rd from 4 to 8.30 p.m. at the Segerstrom Center for the Arts. And yeah, man, just pull up. Yeah, if you see me out there, I might be interviewing. Uh, I'm interviewing people out there. That day, hey. so it's be tight. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. Um, all right. So for the comedy, we got Taylor Tomlinson uh, this weekend at the Brett Improv. Uh, Jeremy Piven the fifteenth and sixteenth at the Irvine Improv. So today and oh, tomorrow. Oh no way. Yeah, from Entourage. Yeah. I love him, dude. Ari Gold is my favorite. Place. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Observatory. We got emo night happening tomorrow. Uh, Ooh. Or ton- tonight, the fifteenth. Yeah, tonight, the fifteenth. Uh, emo night, Brooklyn. It's always fun, man. They, they they do so many different themed now events. Mm-hmm. Like I went to disco night there too, and it was really mm-hmm, fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, so check it out. All right, Mondo, uh, our favorite nightclub time nightclub. Hey. What do we got for us this time? All right, <laughs> July fifteenth. We got Slushy, uh, EDM producer producer Slushy. I seen him at EDC. It's only funny because like a lot of the times that uh, Caesar brings out these artists like if i've seen them at edc at least like <laughs> yeah. most of the time like 80 percent of the time it's been like people i've seen at edc but nice. uh anyway slushy is pretty cool i've seen them like once or twice um kind of like i don't know if you guys ever heard marshmallow oh yeah okay, nah, yeah. okay. so like kind of very mm-hmm. similar like dubstep in a way mm-hmm. like just a new kind of style of music i guess and then uh july 16th we got esta from selection uh super super dope dj i like grew up kind of listening to esta as well and like his sound is super dope, which is kind of like, uh, you know, when we had Daniel James and stuff, he kind of tapped into the whole selection, saying, like, his style oh. is the sound that he kind of gets is from there. And mm-hmm. selection is dope, man. Mm-hmm. Dope. Yeah, so make sure to look out for Esther. If you guys haven't heard him, pull up on him. Time Nightclub. Oh, at Time Nightclub. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that, cool. yeah. Hence, hence the uh, little... Uh, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it's always EDM music, bro. Oh, Even man. though we had we wi- one time went to see Snoop Dogg there, though. Yeah, so, like, that no, 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 yeah, yeah. You got like Wiz pulling up. Yeah. You got YG yeah. pulling up. Mustard just had a thing there, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. like two songs. <laughs> yeah, Tiger, Tiger was there, but he showed up like. Like one thirty, so you didn't want to do it every time. Like, man, every probably time. fucked up. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, and then he was like, "Yeah, we going to LA for the after party." I was like, yeah. I'm not going for three a.m. Yeah, what? It's three a.m., bro. <laughs> 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 right 
Uh, at the House of Blues in Anaheim, we got Enanitos Verdes, Ooh. a Spanish rock band. Nice. I love Enanitos Verdes. Yeah. <laughs> tonight, tonight, Lamento oh, Bolivano. How do you say it again? Lamento Bolivano. Yes, yeah. that's the jam. <laughs> that's the jam. <laughs> as soon as I saw the, as soon as I saw the note today, I played that song. Oh, <laughs> that's like their hit, bro. Yeah. yeah. Probably the only one I really know, but <laughs> I grew up on Spanish rock, so yeah. I love it. Yeah, I'm, I'm not. I'll probably see them at Pesame uh, Mucho. Oh, oh my yes. God! That lineup was so sick. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, though, Caesar. When I read that in the notes, I thought it said enchiladas were there. <laughs> <laughs> enchiladas. Like, they're selling like, that at wow. the blues. Well, right? I was like, are they? Sell- is this like a food special? Then <laughs> 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 I was gonna hit up Landy, be like, "Yo, y'all selling enchiladas at the house?" And then I was like, "Oh." This is a band. <laughs> Who names their band Enchiladas Verdes? <laughs> Who names their band? I would have bought a ticket. <laughs> uh, yeah, so tonight there's a, probably a ticket still available. You can see them. Uh, at the Frida Cinema, uh, we have the Twilight movie saga all day. Tomorrow oh, from 1 p.m. to 1 a.m. All the oh, movies back to back to nice. back. Wow. I know what I'm doing tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> this is my Team Jacob, baby. Team Jacob. Same. Same. Yeah. He's the wolf. Team Jacob. The yeah. wolf. Right? Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the wolves. Shout out to the wolves. Shout out to the wolves. I think I've only seen like the first movie, yeah. if that. That's all you want to need to see. <laughs> uh, all right. <laughs> I saw right. him at the theater. Or, <laughs> oh, you saw man. him at the theater? All the movies at the theater. Oh, I thought you meant like Jacob. He's watching his own movie. Saw the movies, read the books. Yeah. It's the first one. Uh, yeah, so you can get tickets for that. That's, that's I mean, that's I'm not gonna be there, but that's a dope. <laughs> you like that? Hey, we want to judge, dog. <laughs> a lot. Like, a lot. <laughs> I feel you. Uh, all right, time for what's streaming straight into your devices. Uh, we have the show called Only Murders in the Building on Hulu. It's a comedy crime show. It's like a sitcom, but they're trying to solve a murder. Three strangers share an obsession with true crime and suddenly find themselves wrapped up in one. When a grisly death occurs inside their upper west side apartment building, the trio suspects murder and employs their precise knowledge of true crime to investigate the truth. Perhaps even more explosive are the lies that they tell one another. Soon, the endangered trio comes to realize a killer might be living among them as they race to decipher the mounting clues before it's too late. Um, So yeah, it's a really funny show. Uh, That's Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez. um, What was that guy's name? Martin Short and Steve Martin. I'm really bad with the yeah, actors' days, okay. but no, I seen like the first episode. It's actually pretty good. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've, I've watched it every week. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Um, there, it's a good show. It's really funny, and it's like, it's like if The Office had murder in it. Yeah, oh, <laughs> like, wow. it feels yeah. like chill, but they're like trying to solve a murder. I mean, but didn't The Office technically have murder in it? Oh right, the Stratton yeah. and Strangler. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And Strangler. Uh, and then I was gonna say the main characters, the three main characters, they start a podcast, so it's cool to see kind of podcast culture mm-hmm. in a show like this too mm-hmm. yeah so, uh, so yeah that's uh that's only murders in the building it's on hulu it just came back for season two uh and then lastly now the new music discovery T-G-I-S. thank god it's fresh um <laughs> we have this new project by steve lacy steve lacy formerly from the internet he's still in that band he plays bass but now uh, he started making his own music not too long ago he has a new project called gemini writes uh it's really funny title because he's gemini um and yeah i mean the songs are really good summer like summer vibe songs he plays all the instruments on them and uh yeah uh i, I don't know what else to say man it's just i listen to these songs and i just i cheer up and i have a great day <laughs> no yeah he's a he's a well-rounded artist like the fact that he plays in a lot like obviously the bass he plays does he play guitar too right yeah yeah he plays all that it just ties into like his artistry because he can really flow with his music and it just that's kind of the way i t- kind of take it i don't always listen to it but whenever like you show me a song or something like that like I take a listen and it's just like damn he, he got the vibes, vibes for yeah. show and uh yeah he started he started originally his first ep was he recorded everything into his iphone and made it on his iphone mm-hmm. and wow. it was Sick. so good and like it was like people loved it and they're like damn how much can what can this guy do with more resources right yeah and uh yeah he's, he's dropping a new album dude could sing too oh yeah yeah, yeah. yeah he, he kills back background vocals on like all of tyler's stuff like mm-hmm. dang Mostly, yeah, he was yeah, on that 911. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. really? That was him? Yeah, 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 that was probably like his best, like actual, like where he got to like shine vocally was on that song. Nice. So yeah, so Steve Lace, check it out. Gemini writes it's out today. Yo, what's good? It's Young Specs, and you're listening to the Rodriguez Show. Uh, and now you can follow me at I am Susan Rod. You can follow my other show that I do with my wife, Carla and Susan's Modern Life. 
at Carla and Caesar.com. That's Carla with a C and then you spell my name C E S A R. I had to look at it right now because I couldn't spell my name. In my head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the website and you can, uh, we put out a podcast every single week uh, about uh, self-help. So we read a lot of self-help books and we do it like the work in ourselves to, and we talk about like what we're doing to improve ourselves. But we also do three who's the jerk scenarios. People send them to us where we find them online where people are like, oh, I got in a tough fight with my cousin because my cousin stole this from me. Am I the jerk for telling my cousin off or should I apologize to my cousin? So stuff like that. And then we, so we break three of those down a week. And uh, so we do one podcast like that a week. And then we also do reactions to like new music. We did one to the Drake album. We did one to the song uh, Break My Soul by Beyonce. <laughs> and we do snack reviews too. So nice. We do a lot oh, of nice. stuff. <laughs> I'm going to watch the, your reaction. Because I saw this meme that it was like Drake came in, you know, dance gay. Beyonce came in gayer. <laughs> 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 I loved it. I was like, yes. <laughs> So uh, yeah, so that, that was that was a great one. Uh, but uh, yeah, so you can follow us, Carla and Caesar dot com. That's what I, that's what you can follow the other show. But for this show, you can follow at the Rodriguez Show on Instagram, Rodriguez Show OC on Twitter, Patreon dot com slash the Rodriguez Show. You support us for a dollar, you get the show early. And lastly, you can watch the entire show on YouTube, YouTube dot com slash c slash the Rodriguez Show. Uh, man, a lot, that was a lot of talking. My <laughs> song of the week is going to be "Caution" by Kuko. Uh, he has a new album called Fantasy Getaway coming next week. This is great. If you do shrooms, listen to this album while you're doing shrooms. Oh, Jesus. Uh, wow. You don't have to, though. But I mean, if you, do, you don't have to. Can I eat like a mushroom pizza? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> a mushroom pizza. Uh, yeah. So we're going to play Kuko. And thank you guys for co hosting today, man. It was fun. Thank, thank you for having us. Thank, thank, thank you for having us. Yeah, uh, the, uh, July 20th, we're going to do the crossover event at the continental room get tickets for that and uh, we'll see you guys then i can't wait for you to do your biggie song caesar oh. <laughs> <laughs>